Health Talk, brought to you by Rapids Regional Medical Center. Football is truly America's favorite sport. NFL, college, high school, youth, it doesn't matter the level. Football is also the leader among all sports in America in the number of injuries sustained. Well, we see quite a bit of heat injuries, muscle cramps, especially uh, in August and, and September when it's so hot. Uh, of course, we see a lot of knee injuries, a lot of MCL sprains, uh, a lot of ankle injuries. You can get a, an injury to the shoulder, an AC sprain or separation, which is fairly common. In recent years, there has been more of an emphasis on head trauma in sports. Notably, the development of CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. CTE is a progressive degenerative disease found in people who have had a severe blow or repeated blows to the head. What happens with a concussion is when you have one concussion, it's easier to get a second concussion. Uh, it's easier to get a third concussion and it takes longer to recover from each concussion. Recognizing the symptoms of a concussion is key to being able to treat the injured player. Among the symptoms are headaches, dizziness, being nauseated, trouble thinking or remembering, change in sleeping habits. According to the annual survey of football injury research, seven deaths in 2015 were directly due to football and all came in middle and high school players. There were also 10 deaths indirectly related to football, such as heat stroke or cardiac related. Two injuries that I, I'm concerned about are two illnesses, are heat illness and heat injury, but also head injuries should be at the top of the list. For more information, visit rapheedsregional.com.